Today we will learn how to program a Hager EG103 single channel time clock. This time clock can be programmed with the use of software and a key, which makes this task very simple, especially if you have multiple time clocks. Contact Hager or your Hager stockist if you would like to know more about this software. If you don't have a key or this software, however, you will need to use the buttons on the front of the timer. The display is telling us at present the current time and date and also that it is in automatic mode. The contacts you can see are also in the off position. You can set the timer for each day or for groups of days, e.g. weekdays and weekends differently. Day one represents Monday and day seven represents Sunday. In this example, we will set all seven days to be the same time, turning on at 9 a.m. and off at 4 p.m. Firstly then, by pressing the menu button, we exit automatic mode and have menu options. You can see prog is flashing, indicating we are now in programming mode. To select this while flashing, we press OK. It then gives us a brief indication that we have 56 programming steps remaining. This clock is not programmed yet, and therefore you have 56 programming steps to do. Day one is flashing. If we press OK, day one stops flashing and day two starts flashing and so on until all seven days are not flashing, indicating we are programming all seven days. After the last OK, the clock is asking for the on time. Again, we say OK. The time, the hour, time hours then starts flashing. We now press plus until 0900, nine o'clock AM starts flashing. We say OK and the minutes start flashing. If we want to choose minutes, we can press the plus minus buttons, or if we don't need to choose the minutes, we can just say OK. We can now see that off is flashing, indicating that it's asking us to program the off time. If we ask to program the off time, we simply say OK. And as you can see, the hours start flashing again, starting from 0900, because that's where the on time was programmed. Pressing the plus button till we get to 1600 or four o'clock in the afternoon is selecting the off time saying OK, the minutes start flashing again like before. If we don't want to choose the minutes, we just simply say OK. That's it now. The clock is now programmed to switch on at 0900 and off at four o'clock in the afternoon every day of the week. Should we wish to check this, we can select the menu, but this time with the plus button, select the viewing mode, which is the symbol looking like an eye. Repeatedly pressing the OK scrolls through this program and you can see the on comes on the nine o'clock, the off at four o'clock, and scrolling through the whole program at the end returns to auto mode. The clock must be in auto mode to operate correctly. That's it, it's all done. The clock is now programmed and ready to go.